Hello Raspberry Pi people, it's The Average Man here. Today I'm showing you this, which is a switch for your Raspberry Pi. So, you've got your Pi, and when you start off you tend to get a mobile phone charger, something like that, a micro USB, plug it in, everything seems fine, until you start getting a bit annoyed of having to undo it every single time you want to turn it off. You start to get a bit worried about the durability of this little port here. Um, and generally it's, it's not as convenient as your, kind of, your other appliances around the home which have switches. So, the guys at Moolsbury Circuits uh, have made this, and this is an illuminated switch. Um, so this is it, just plugged in the end here, very small, tidy uh, PCB, and there's a switch there. And all it does is it just plugs into your micro USB port, um, and then you plug your power supply into the other end. And then you just have two cables here which go to your GPIO, um, because there's a bit of code that runs it, because what it actually does is it, it, it obviously turns on the Pi nice and easy, that's straightforward. Um, but when you turn it off, it actually does the, uh, it runs the shutdown procedure for you. So no longer do you have to kind of run your pseudo halt um, or that kind of thing. Um, so it, it does kind of automate it a bit more for you, which is really handy. So let me show you. Prepare yourselves. There you go. Look at that. So it, it shines a lovely bright blue. Very, very cosmic, very alien. There we go. Get nice and close there. Um, so that just starts up the pie. So that bit straightforward. And I'll just give that a couple of seconds. Wait for the Wi-Fi to kick in. Uh, and then I'll show you the shutdown. Um, so I'm going to do a blog on this, it's going to be at uh, averageman versus raspberrypi.com um, and I have some more pictures, uh, links somewhere to buy it, so I think Moulsbury Circuits, they're based, I think it's either in the US or Canada, um, but it's, it's it's quite a cheap unit and it's the shipping isn't too much either, so it's definitely worth a look. So I reckon we're about there, let's just have a look, yeah, okay. So, to shut it down, it's just holding it in for about a second or so, the light goes off, and it gives it just enough time to shut down. You'll see the flashing light in a minute. There it is. Boom, done. And that's it. So this is really handy for things like Raspberry MC, um, or to be fair, anything really, but yeah, things like that where you want it to look a bit more flash in the living room, especially with the blue light. That's really good. So that's off, and once again, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just turn it back on. And that's it, it'll go over and over again. So like I say, um, I'll do a blog on this. I'll be at averageman.com. Uh, again, links to buy, lots more pictures, lots more information. Cheers.